we're just pulling into a village somewhere in Bastar. I don't know exactly, but Vivek's friends stay here and yeah, they're gonna welcome me to the region apparently. And this is gonna involve some kind of some kind of traditional dance. So I love dance and every kind of region of India has their own type of dancing and you have some incredible dancing here and then another unique one I've seen in Mizoram. But let's go and check out what the Chhattisgari villages are doing here and how they're gonna welcome me. We're really in the middle of nowhere here, just look around. It's just farms and Chhattisgari people and people here don't wear shoes. They actually had a government scheme to get everybody here shoes but they started wearing them on their heads, like carrying them on their heads so they wouldn't wreck their shoes. They just started wearing them at special occasions, so no point really. They're happy just to wear their, their bare feet everywhere. The villagers are coming now and they're going to show us the tribal dance just over here. This is where they, where they come and party, where they come and dance. And just, just look how rural we are. So the farmer's walking his entire flock at the moment. You've got buffaloes, you've got cows there. You've got goats, absolutely everything. This place is just so beautiful. I love being in Indian villages, they're so pure. And I have an Indian village playlist, so if you want to see more of incredible Indian villages, go and check that out as well. And you can see the farmer there, he's got his, his stick to control his, his cattle. And I can see the dancers coming down this road now. Oh, these calves are so beautiful. Look at these baby ones. They're so scared though. You don't want to get too close to this buffalo, this big one. Look at those horns. Jay Johar. Kese. Sabtike. Good. I noticed a lot of the locals here are quite shy, okay? They're quite... Uh, they don't chat much, some of them. They're getting their drums ready now. They're putting on their traditional tribal costumes and the women are coming down now on that road so, so we're gonna kick off soon and usually they dance for an hour and a half to two hours crazy nice nah? so much energy I don't know if I can watch for that long and have to join in with them no nah? what are you wearing bro what is this I should try this take chalo it's coming on wow. Whoa. So this is like your horns, like a cow, eh? Hey? No, like a buffalo. Original, original. original uh, wow, this is the original bison. buffalo. And you can see shell is here. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. And then inside is actually made of flax. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's all flax. Flax, bamboo and, and wood. And real horns here. Thank you, G. Kya aap Hindi bolte hai? Nay. Oh, Gondi, sir. Say it. Acha. Or Angrezi? Okay, that's amazing. So, this kid doesn't speak Hindi yet. He speaks a language called Gondi? Gondi. Acha. Wow. That's interesting. Because Chhattisgarh is kind of part of the Hindi belt. The very, the very middle of India where I thought everybody spoke Hindi, but maybe not quite yet. We've got the whole village with us here now. Everybody's following from the road. We've got the woman in front of us. And the men have their drums. And the women have these kind of, I don't know if they're spears. It looks like spears. And, and then they've got a feather in their hair as well. A moor feather, peacock feather. Sometimes I have to like say the word in Hindi and then remember what it is in English because I'm so used to saying that word in Hindi. Moor.
welcoming us with these different dances so far we've seen about three different dances and each one consists of a different kind of beat and then a slightly different dance it's all about the beat and the drum here and then the woman it's not a spear like i said earlier it's actually like a stick with these kind of bells on top and the women are wearing bells on their feet as well and you can see these two little kids there they are busy learning how to do this this is how they're passing it on to the next generation by having the kids perform even though the kids don't know exactly what they're doing they're gonna learn over time right the more they're included in these cultural activities and if you've seen my Hornbill festival video you'd know that all the tribals from around India they come to Hornbill in Nagaland to show everybody their cultural dances. It's a festival that you can go to and watch dancing and watch all these tribal cultural activities. And it's an amazing festival. If you can go, definitely go to Hornbill, okay? And you'll see all this kind of stuff happening there. I went last year with Manisha to so go and watch that video. There's a whole Northeast playlist. So there you have it. That's how the tribal people here in Chhattisgarh, they greet people who come to their village, special people who come to their village. And actually, you know, a lot of these things like dancing, they've been lost overseas, right? Like in Europe, I know there's a lot of, uh, we, we call it folk dancing, folk dancing. And we used to do it at school, but I doubt they teach it at school anymore. But there are all these kinds of dancing, but they've kind of been forgotten in our lives overseas, right? But dancing and these traditions like that are a very, very important part here in Chhattisgarh and in these tribal areas still where you know, their lives haven't been taken over by TV, by the internet, by YouTube, by everything. This is another form of entertainment for them as well. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, flies are attacking me when I'm doing the outro. Anyway, guys, check out the rest of my Chattisgar videos on my Chattisgar playlist. And yeah, watch my entire channel for a bunch of tips on where and how to travel in incredible India. Jai Hind.